I'm going to do some pipe bending and found that these dies are a little bit loose. So I went ahead and cut me out a little filler, put down in there to make them fit better. And then I have less kinking whenever I'm bending. So that's first off. I leveled off my jack, my pipe bender, made sure that it's level so that I could start with that. Started out at zero. I'm going to take it up, try to get it around 10 for my first press. I found out that this thing takes several nice easy bends and then it doesn't kink. So we'll stop there for the first bend. Loosen it up, move it over to my mark, and tighten it up. We're going to bend that. So I bent the middle first, I'm coming out here to this mark about three inches away. I'm going to bend it to 10 degrees and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this side up till I read about 10 degrees. Make our bends nice and slow. So I'm basically making three bends instead of one because this machine likes to kink the pipe instead of just bending it. So we'll take that to a 10 and then we'll do the other side the same way. Okay, we'll get this side to 10 degrees. Roughly, it's working pretty good this way for me. So rather than to try to take the whole bend in one sweep I could do it in three little sections and it seems to keep it from kinking in the middle okay now we're gonna take it up to 20 now I'm on the outside mark so I'm not in the middle we got 15 I'm going to ride it up pretty close to 20. Yeah, it's good, right? Okay, now we're going to move this over. There's our center mark. Move it to the other side. And then I'm going to Jack it up and make sure that it's at 20 degrees there too on this left hand side. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now we'll make our last bend here. I'm 
Okay, I'm going to try to set this right at 35 on both sides because I'm equal now. That's pretty good. I think I'll call that good. We'll check the other side and see if it's even. If it is, then I'm done. Okay, now you can see what I was making. They don't look too bad. I had to make those top pieces out of inch and a half and the rest of the pipe is inch and a quarter. So the inch and a quarter fits right into the inch and a half and I'll be able to make my little carport.